Ooh, time to get that paper, man. Yeah, what up, gang? What up, squad? It's your boy. Are you serious? The realest, the coolest, the chillest, young king. Only two puffer mans we speak. Welcome back for another lit banger, man. Um, we got my new lens, so I'm, I'm actually excited. Um, it's not as good as I thought it would be. I'm not gonna lie, but it's better than the webcam I was using. So we're gonna go. We're gonna have to take it, gang. But anyway, man, we got Kendrick Lamar post video proof of Drake. I I am not a liar. I I don't know what this nigga Urban Will Legends is talking about. I said Urban Will Legends. I don't know what my boy on, but we're gonna go ahead and hear it, man. If you new, subscribe, like the video, comment some more bangers. Um, yeah, let's get it. Urban Legend Will Evans, you know what it is, bro. Let's talk about it. Now, fans are assuming, and I'm starting to believe too, that Kendrick Lamar created a burner account to post receipts to back up the claims that he made during the beef with Drake. And this is coming less than 24 hours, really about five hours after Top Dog announced that Kendrick Lamar and Drake would not be battling on wax anymore. No, no more songs are going to be coming out, going back and forth with each other. And Kendrick Lamar is being accused of creating this Twitter burner account called Ebony Prince 2K24 to post receipts of you know the claims that he made against Drake. I'm going to show you guys the video that was posted to this account. People are assuming that this is Kendrick Lamar because we know that Kendrick Lamar bought a waterfront penthouse in Brooklyn, New York. And at the end of the video, it shows the camera raises up and it shows where this video is being recorded from. And it's from a waterfront property in New York. Um, people are also assuming that this is Kendrick Lamar because the items in the video were used in the Meet the Grams cover art. Um, so people are saying that this is Kendrick recording this video. They also say because the low quality of the video recording, this could be Kendrick Lamar recording it. We know Kendrick has the PG Lang phones. Um, so, you know, I thought that was funny just because Damn, the low quality thing, shit. uh, people assuming just because of that, you know, it's Kendrick Lamar. So I'm gonna show you guys this video and let you dissect it for yourself. Check this out. What are they showing us? This is the stuff that was on the um Kendrick uh thingamajig. Not like a not like is it was it no meet the grams. Now, this is the first thing that was posted. It was a, a post that Oh, uh, they think Kendrick re recorded that. Oh damn. I said 2024, the year of truth telling. Major questions will be answered this night. And it seems like a cover art of a bloody chessboard. Um, the, the account also posted this as their cover photo. It was ebony, the word ebony with a crown on it and a knife. And it has some locations on this photo, which were Ontario, California, Paris, France, uh, London, UK, Moscow, Russia, Italy, Japan, Brazil, and Costa Rica and Brooklyn. Um, mm. it said established in Brooklyn. Now I thought that was interesting because we all know Kendrick Lamar's apartment has been, uh, reported to be in Brooklyn, his high rise, you know, luxury apartment. Ontario, California is a place that Kendrick Lamar started the Big Stepper Tour in 2022. Um, this is not Ontario, Canada. It's Ontario, California, uh, which is about 45 minutes from L.A. It's in the Inland Empire, California, where I'm from. Um, it's in that region. So I thought that was interesting. Um, people are saying Ebony Prince 2K24 being the username is such a Kendrick Lamar burner account username. I thought that was funny. Yeah, but Ebony Prince, these were some things funny. that were posted. Uh, said, number one, Kendrick Lamar is not a liar and I am not a thief. Mr. Aubrey Graham, a.k.a. Drake, and Mr. Livingston Allen, a.k.a. Academics, have until noon Monday, 5-13-2024, uh, to retract the claims of theft, or my attorney, Miss Adrian Edward, and I will exhaust every legal option available. Now, Ooh. I thought that was interesting Ooh. because it's like, we don't even know who you are. If he didn't want to, if Kendrick didn't want to know who he, like, that that was him, I don't think he would have put his attorney on there because I'm sure you can backtrack that shit. You know, when you say I uh, Kendrick Lamar is not a liar and I am not a thief, bro, who accused you of being a thief? So there's got to be somebody. Uh, if this is not Kendrick Lamar, who could it be? Right. And then it says you guys have till this date to retract your claims or my attorney, uh, Miss Adrian Edward, and I will exhaust every legal option. 
So I thought that was interesting using the word I when we don't even know this account was created literally, um, you know, last night. Uh, so I thought that was interesting. Um, and then the video posted under it showed the cover art from Meet the Grams with all the belongings that Drake, you know, had his his prescription T-shirt, the glove, everything we saw in those cover photos is right there, man. So I thought that was interesting. Now, here's the good part. You know, Drake had claims that he wrote um, in the heart part six, where he said that his the information was fed to Kendrick Lamar a week ago. And that's being debunked by these posts, because I'm going to just speak as if this is Kendrick Lamar's burner page. The burner page um, posted this right here, said to Mr. Aubrey Graham, a.k.a. Drake, may this help. May this photo help jog your memory as to. I feel like only a nigga like Kendrick could get this type of receipt game. You know how far you got to go back to get this uh, camera footage, bro? I'm sure you would have to have paid somebody, but that was a whole year ago. Where those discarded items, um, or excuse me, as to where you discarded those items, the issue in the photo should jo also jog your memory. Jimmy Brooks wouldn't have. Jimmy Brooks. Ah, oh, that nigga. Oh, Jimmy Brooks was his name on uh, Degrassi. Uh, not have been proud of you that night. Now, what makes this interesting is um, Drake is on this photo, and it seems like it's a... a like a CCTV footage a screenshot and the date on it is 122 2023 January 22nd 2023 uh Sunday now this is what makes it interesting because Drake said on the heart part six he said you waited for this moment overcome with desperation we plotted for a week then we fed you the information a daughter that's 11 years old I bet he takes it we thought about giving a fake name or a destination but you so thirsty you're not concerned with investigation Instead, you in that Venice studio, it's a celebration. You got to learn to fact check things and be less impatient. Your fans are rejoicing, thinking this is my expiration. Mm. Even the picture you used, the jokes and the medication, the Maybach glove and the drug he used is for less inflation. Master manipulator, you bid on the speculation. You dumb and reactive nigga, I'm petty with dedication. So I ain't gonna lie, that was kind of hard. Drake said in the song that, you know, we fed you the information a week ago, but this photo was saying that uh, Drake discarded these items a year ago, over a year ago. Um, so how could you have fed, you know, Kendrick Lamar the information a week ago if your belongings, if these belongings were, you know, obtained over a year ago? It, it didn't make any sense. So yeah. the the burner account also said this. You've had many things discarded on your behalf over the years. I wonder if you can remember them all. It said you're blocking my money with your lies so you have forced me to get it another way meaning in my opinion what that means if this is kendrick lamar's burner account which i'm starting to assume that it is when he says you're blocking my money with your lies so you have forced me to get it another way i think that means that the umg reports were true that behind the scenes umg has told kendrick lamar to stand down and hey we're gonna give you some money you know what i mean or we're gonna have to uh you know pursue it another way if you don't stand down and i mm -hmm. think kendrick was forced because like i said umg gave drake 400 million dollars in 2022 wow. um and i think that they want to make sure that drake's career long term is not damaged to the point that they can't recoup that money that's what i was telling desmond bro i was telling desmond i was like bro they they that he he's their cash cow so if, if he goes down they go down they put all their chips into drake not you know not without knowing you know the, what was going to happen with him and uh Kendrick so um obviously they don't want his image tarnished therefore they going to fucking be out millions like life changing money bro so i totally I, I totally get it so he has some protection on that side so for this account to say you're blocking my money with your lies so you have forced me to get it another way this i, I don't know who else this could be except Kendrick Lamar like, cause who who else's money is being blocked with lies, you know? And we know that Drake loves to play the behind the scenes game, um, you know, on the corporate level. Like, you ain't gonna be able to move here. You ain't gonna be able to do that. This company is not gonna want to work with you and different things like that. So, I thought that was the most telling tweet out of all of them, you know. And to speak from the the per, the perspective of I and me, um, when he says, you know, me and my lawyer are gonna have to pursue uh, every legal option available and I am not a thief. Kendrick Lamar is not a liar and I am not a thief. Who accused you of being a thief, bro? Who accused you of being a liar? And to say, you know, you're blocking my money with your lies so you have forced me to get it another way. That's interesting to me, bro. I really think 
um, it's a possibility that this is Kendrick Lamar saying, you know what, hmm. I'm going to start an account where I don't have no liability to, where y'all can't really trace it to me, but receipts are going to start coming out. Hmm. Um, and I'm going to just start proving what I said. Because, again, who else's money is being blocked by the situation? I think this is a super interesting uh, man, situation, man. Lying. I don't know how this is going to play out, um, but I'm sure that we're going to get more. Because this these tweets were made at 5 o'clock in the morning, bro. Which... What makes sense, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. This is interesting. You guys got to let me know what you think about this. Did I miss anything here? Um, do you guys have any more information on this situation? Let me know in the comments, bro. We're going to go live and we're going to talk about this topic uh, a little bit later. I think that this is Kendrick Lamar's burner account. Um, to, like Ebony Prince 2K24 sounds like a Kendrick Lamar username for a burner account. Um, wow. And we know that he has other you know, uh, burner accounts on Instagram and stuff like that. And I follow a couple of them, a couple of them. So I know, ah. um, so we'll see how this plays out, man. Obviously there's some receipts there. Obviously something's going on behind the scenes where Kendrick Lamar is not being able to release more music. This nigga is trying to get all his coin. This nigga is getting a lot of views and he's still posting his cash up. Fall hey, my cash up is in the description below too. Send me some. We know he said coin. that he had five plus five. Uh, we know Drake even said that I know you got 10 more diss songs ready to go. Um, you know, it seems like UMG may have made that call and told Kendrick Lamar and Top Dog, like, hey, leave it alone. We're going to send y'all some money, but leave it alone. Um, because at this point, it's overkill and Drake's career is starting to be hurt on the long term. So we'll see how this plays out, That's man. Crazy. Um, I don't know. If I get something new, I'll bring it to the channel. I'll update you guys and let you guys know what's going on. But that's all I got right now. Urban Legend 11, you know what it is. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, all that good stuff. Follow that motherfucker. That nigga is at 68k. That's crazy. But anyway, man. Um, I mean, if it is Kendrick, so what? Like, you know, I, I don't really see the problem. But I mean, that could just be me. You know what I'm saying? But um, y'all comment. Do y'all think that's Kendrick's burner? And do y'all, you know, do y'all think that you know he's doing more damage, more harm than good? You feel me? Like, is he really tarnishing this nigga Drake, or is he just you know playing that role? I feel like he's just playing that role. You know, Drake didn't want the smoke. He shouldn't have responded. Let's start there. What, 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 uh, FB, FYBJ main? Let's start there. Let's start there. Why you responded? You responded. You wanted the smoke. You got the smoke. Now you can't handle the smoke. Now you got to have your friends, your folks back home in the, in, in the offices have your back. Like, now they got to get into it. Like, Anyway, man, if you're new, subscribe, like the video, comment some more bangers y'all want me to react to. Until next time, your boy Thea is out, man. We gone.